So let's go ahead and kick off these next 10 teams with some squads that I just skipped over. As I explained in my top 10 video, there were some teams I just didn't feel like playing with, but I always intended to play with them. And in my comment section, one of the most requested was the 04 Wolves. And I'm going to be flat out honest with you, I skipped this squad out of my own ignorance. So basically what happened was, in my 2k16 association, I did include the Timberwolves, and I played about 2 years of association with them and they did terrible both times. And I was sort of aware that this was just 2k being stupid because I was like the 04 Wolves did make the Western Conference Finals and I even think they won a few games against the Lakers. As a matter of fact, they won 2 games against the 2004 Lakers. But when I would put them in the association with all the other classic teams, they would just win like 20 games so my assumption was that this team has Kevin Garnett and nobody else. They're gonna run MVP KG out there, they're not gonna care who else is on the roster and this squad is just gonna be terrible. And boy was I wrong. So first of all, the basics about this team, they almost won 60 games that year and this was the last time the Timberwolves were actually in the playoffs. They went 58 and 24, they ranked 5th in offensive rating and 6th in defensive rating so this was a pretty good team. This was the year that Kevin Garnett won MVP and that's the main thing that you're going to notice when you pick up this team and that's one thing I really loved about them is that Kevin Garnett's MVP presence is felt on both sides of the floor. In this gameplay that you're seeing on your screen right now, I completely controlled the entire tempo of this game with Kevin Garnett pretty much by himself. I set the tone early using some post moves and getting down low with him. I was able to keep Sean Kemp at bay. And I'm not even going to lie, as I was in control of the game, I was so surprised because my thought process when I sat down to use them was, alright, I'm going to go ahead and get the 014 Bulls out of the way. People in the comment section are asking for them and I plan to play with every team so I'm just going to go through this and get it over with. I'd have to play more games with this squad before. I declare Kevin Garnett one of my favorite players to use with the other people like Dirk, Larry, and Dwayne Wade, but from this game I played, I had a ton of fun. And just like real life, the Prime KG is super versatile. So of course he's got a masterful post game, down low nobody's gonna stop him, but what also helps you run your offense is that he has a killer mid range as well. And so what you're gonna see throughout this gameplay is I wasn't really just playing down low with him the whole time. I was actually able to use really good ball movement because KG can hang outside around the perimeter even though he's not gonna shoot threes, he can be out there and be respected. If you're gonna run a pick and roll with him, you can set it to fade and people have to respect that. But the ball movement with this team overall was just so much fun and it worked because I will say that the support pieces on this team will surprise you. When you're first scrolling through the classic teams and you see the five people on the starting lineup and you see like Sam Gassell, you're gonna start thinking, man, this team really doesn't have anybody. Now, of course, that's if you didn't know Sam Gassell was actually pretty good back then. As a matter of fact, on the Wolves, he was averaging 20 points and 7 assists that year, and he was shooting about 40% from 3. So don't let the name fool you, don't let his size fool you, because Sam Cassell, that was a pleasant, pleasant surprise in this game. I just didn't think it was going to translate well, and it did. I was able to run the offense very smoothly with him. For some reason, this guy wasn't respecting his floater, and he wasn't respecting his 3-point shot, so I was using that. And then, of course, you got Latrell Sprewell. So this isn't a big 3, but your 3 main guys on this roster are KG, Cassell and Sprewell and you can get a lot done with them. And another person you'll want to use a lot on here is Wally Zerbiak because a lot of you might not remember him from anywhere else except for the Cavaliers where he wasn't playing too much of a role but the guy is a knockdown shooter and you'll see a couple of times he left me wide open from there and I was able to hit it. So MVP Garnett is very fun to use, the support pieces are going to surprise you but I'm going to go ahead and say one thing that I don't like about this team that I well one thing that I know I won't like for this team when I use them in the future is that I don't think that their system would match up very well with a lot of teams. This is is a team where Kevin Garnett is clearly clearly the best player and it's not even close and while that's okay I don't like it when the best player is a big man because that kind of limits what you can do so in this gameplay I was up against the Sonics and that was fine because like I said in my top 10 video the Sonics just don't seem to have that much outside of Peyton and Kemp and I was able to handle this one pretty easy but if I played a team with more ball handling scores I think it would start to get overwhelming trying to carry this team with Kevin Garnett because one very easy example I can bring up is like the Thunder. Whether it's the current Thunder or it's the classic Thunder, they have three ball handling scorers that are all prone to go off at any time. And while this team does have good support pieces, you do have to do a lot with Kevin Garnett against a team like that. And when you have to play from the inside out completely and you don't really have a second superstar to run with Garnett on this team, I think that would be very difficult. 
It's almost comparable to when I played with Julius Irving Sixers, and while I think this squad is definitely better, basically what I was saying there is that you can get away with certain things that you wouldn't be able to get away with with other teams. And so, the Wolves are very well rounded, don't get me wrong, and they're very fun to play with, especially the way they swing the ball. But their lack of stars outside of Kevin Garnett is gonna hurt you when you start matching up with like the 01 Lakers, the 12 Thunder, basically anybody that has more than one person that can just take the ball and go score, it's probably gonna be hard to put up enough points to win. But again, that's why I always recommend on 2K that you play with a LAN cable attached to your PlayStation or Xbox. That way, if you see a matchup that you don't like, you just pull the cable out and go somewhere else. And when you do that, it's not going to count as a loss. That's the way I counteract 2K's BS system where they don't let you see who you're playing. Because like I said, some teams just aren't good matchups. So if I have the 04 Wolves against the 04 Lakers, yeah, that seems like a match in real life. But that's not a match I'm going to take on 2K because that's a clear advantage for the other guy. But there are teams that I would play with the Wolves. So like I think the 02 Kings, I think that would be a good matchup for this team. You know, or something like maybe even the 08 Nuggets. Just some kind of squad where there's not like three or four people that can just go off on the other team. Because then it's kind of unbalanced. Either way, I will give props to you all in the comment section who were urging me to play with the Wolves because even though I was going to do it anyways, I just did not think highly of this team every time I was scrolling past them. And after playing with them, I'm going to say that was that's definitely one of the most surprising teams that I've just jumped into. So my final verdict on this team is that I would recommend you to play with them, however just make sure you have a LAN cable attached and choose your matchups wisely. Because if you get into a situation where you have to match 3 ball handling scores with Kevin Garnett, and you know, you know, good luck, that might be your thing but I don't think it's the best way to go. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and sub, and hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications on future vids. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next team.